Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today doing another breakdown video. This is on the Super Featherweight Championship main event that's taking place Saturday, February 26th in the main event of a DAZN, I mean of a Showtime card as it's going to see uh, reigning WBA Super Featherweight Champ Roger Gutierrez defend his title against mandatory challenger and undefeated Chris Colbert. And, um, you know, it, it, this is, you know, a lot of people are going to look at it and go, it's not that big of a fight. Well, it's for a title at 130, and it really is a big fight. You know, it's two young guys uh, trying to, you know, take the next step towards the top of the division. You know, both guys, um, I don't have either guy in the top five, but they're both in my top ten right now. And a win here would give uh, a nice step forward towards a division that I think is going to be wide open by the end of the year. And I'll get to that in a minute. Give me one second. Excuse me. And the reason I say this division is going to be wide open by the end of the year is because you got Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez are going to attempt to unify belts, most likely in April. And the winner of that fight, I, I, I mean, which I think firmly is going to be Shakur Stevenson, is likely going to be on, you know, on... Uh, on a mission to move up to 135, in my opinion. I think Shakur Stevenson's going to not have a lot of options, and and then he's going to want to move up. And the winner here that holds on to a world title is going to be, could possibly fight for a vacant world title, one of the belts that gets vacated, you know, or on a collision course to take over the division, you know. I mean, because, again, I think this division is going to be wide open because the winner of that fight, I think, moves up. The loser probably takes some time off. Um, you got Miguel Burchell and Jamel Herring are going to be moving up in weight. And the IVF title is wrapped up for this year. So whoever comes out of this one really is going to have, you know, a good foot forward ahead of some of the other fighters in the 130-pound um, wide open super featherweight division. So, um this is a this is a big fight right here. This is the biggest fight of both guys' career, in my opinion. Um, you know, maybe Roger Gutierrez uh, being the veteran here, the champion, the the young veteran. I, I I want to say that in terms of big fights, the last couple fights. You know, both his fights in 2021 were big deal fights. There was there was a rematch with Rene Alvarado, and then a third fight with Rene Alvarado for the WBA title. So he's kind of been here. You know, Colbert has not really been here, you know? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the favorite, like we always do with our breakdown videos, and uh, then we'll move to the underdog. And in this fight, Chris Colbert is comfortably the favorite right now going in. The challenger is a favorite, but uh, you know, I'm gonna flip that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the champion first and then the challenger. So let's look at the champion, Roger Gutierrez. Gutierrez was is a fighter that, you know, he's 26 and three, one draw, and he's got 20 knockouts. So he's a guy that packs a good punch, but outside of his trilogy with Rene Alvarado, really hasn't done much. And back in 2018, he lost back-to-back -back fights. Um, I think the guys the guys that he lost to were Henry Tanahara, who's not a horrible fighter, but not, you know, not a top 10 guy, not even close in my opinion. And then he lost uh, the immediate fight after that to Oscar Duarte, who is not a terrible fighter either, he was undefeated at the time when he beat um, uh, Gutierrez. But since then, he's won seven fights straight, and um, those are really capped off in 2021 when he got a mandatory fight and a rematch with Rene Alvarado, who handed him his first loss in 2017. Alvarado knocked Gutierrez out in the seventh round of that fight and was comfortably ahead of their first fight. So Alvarado now was the WBA regular champion and was taking on Gutierrez and Alvarado came in the favorite. And in this one, Gutierrez used his height and scored a couple knockdowns in the second and third round, I believe. And, um, and then in the 12th round, in what we didn't know at the moment, he knocked uh, Alvarado down again. And for the third time in the fight, and that Alvarado got up, finished the fight, but that ended up being the difference as um, Gutierrez went on to win a one-point unanimous decision on all three judges' scorecards. And if he didn't score that knockdown, it would have been, didn't, yeah, would have been declared a draw. If he didn't score all three, he would have lost the fight. So, you know, that was key. But their third fight,
fight was coming up in August, their trilogy, and when it was announced, I thought Alvarado was going to beat him, because Alvarado technically won seven rounds in their rematch, and he won all seven rounds of the first fight, so out of, uh, to that point, you know, out of um, 19 rounds, Alvarado had won 14 of them, you know, and so I was like, okay, Alvarado, I think Alvarado was overlooking him in the rematch. He's going to get him in their third fight. And in the rem in the third fight, Roger Gutierrez this time used his height and reach and outworked and out outclassed Alvarado and left no doubt he was the better man as he won a hard fought but a convincing unanimous decision and stayed the world champion. So now he heads into this fight with Chris Colbert. And I think he knows that a lot of people believe he's going to lose this fight. But I think he's coming in hungry, wanting to prove himself. He's got the edge and power. And I think he is really, really unafraid of, the, of being the underdog because he's been that already before. Now, what kind of fight does uh, Gutierrez need to have to win? And I believe it's a pressure style. And, and you know what? He needs to use his height advantage. He is an inch and a half taller. Now, Colbert has the inch and a half reach advantage. But Colbert's not a big puncher. He's just not. He scored a couple knock, knockouts in um, his last few fights, but Colbert is 16-0 with only six knockouts. Not a big power puncher. Gutierrez needs to take advantage of that and put pressure on Chris Colbert, but don't let Colbert move. Use his jab and his height to get inside and cut the, the ring off. He really does need to bully Colbert and hit him with some shots in order for Colbert to, you know, and, and slow Colbert down. I think a body attack is really going to be key because if he can tire Colbert down and get him into the second half of the fight, he might be able to take that fight over and and possibly win. So that's what I think he needs to do. Get in there, land those shots, and, sh and see how well Colbert takes them. Now, um, can he win this fight by knockout? I think he can. I think if he catches Colbert clean enough, maybe, but I also believe if he can wear Colbert down and walk through Colbert's fire and not and, and really hit the body, you know, really slow Colbert down, not let Colbert move so well, I think he can win, uh, uh, stop Colbert in the middle to later rounds. Can he win by a decision? It's going to be tough. It really is. I think, um, but I think his key, again, is to walk through Colbert by cutting the ring off and landing those body shots really hurting the body and then I think it's possible to win a decision but I think it's more likely that he could win by knockout in my opinion now what does this fight mean for Roger Gutierrez um I believe it means everything it might not top the Alvarado wins but depending on how he wins it could top it but he would have come on foreign soil which and I say that because Gutierrez is a golden boy guy and he's coming over to Showtime to fight a PBC guy in a mandatory fight. If he can come in, basically Colbert's, you know, Colbert's uh, show and beat him as the underdog champion, that's really just going to gain um, gain him more accolades, and it's really going to, uh, you know, build his confidence. So I think a win for Gutierrez is huge. He, you know, it, it would be bi very big uh, for his resume and his career. Now. What does it mean for uh, for him if he loses this fight? Um, it, you know, it's going to hurt him, obviously, but how he loses is really going to matter. Um, I think if he loses by and gets his ass whipped, he, you know, it's it's going to put him to the back of the line again, you know, and maybe people are just going to look at him as a stepping stone, somebody that, that can be outboxed. He's a tough fighter, but he can be outboxed. But if he goes in there and shows a lot of heart and loses a close one, he's still in the mix in the top ten. Okay, let's move over to the challenger, Chris Colbert, and see what he can do. We start with, um, you know, uh, you know, what he's done rolling into this fight. And he's had three nice victories in his last three fights. Nothing to run home to mom about, though. You know, he defeated, um, uh, he defeated, one second, guys. He defeated um, a former champion in Jezreel Corrales, and um, and uh, that was a nice win. You know, he got a clean decision there. And then he defeated some guy named Jaime Arbadola, knocked him out in the last round, or in the 11th round of that fight. 
okay, nice. And then he took on Tuxko Nayambayar, who was a, a late replacement, and dominated him over 12 rounds in July of last year. So, you know, nice wins, not surprising. Nayambayar moved up in weight. It was a short notice fight. Um, he completely controlled the, the action, though, and, and everything. So, nice wins, but I really do believe Gutierrez is going to be his toughest challenge. I really do. And Gutierrez hits hard, and he can be a bully in there. So, Colbert, you know, uh, what, what kind of style does he need to have to win this fight? And um, Colbert needs to be ready to box and move and, and really need to, he needs to move both directions and throw a guy like Gutierrez off. Gutierrez, again, is a little bit taller, an inch and a half, but Colbert has the height and reach, so that jab needs to be on point. He really needs to send a message that he's not going to be bullied in that ring by Gutierrez. He needs a box. So that's what that's the key to winning this fight right here, big time, um, is to box in this one and really, um, you know, be ready for a good, hard 12 rounds. If he can do that and not get tired in the first half of the fight, I think the fight is his. I really do. But he cannot allow Gutierrez to bully him and to beat on his body. He really needs to be ready for a good hard 12 rounds. Now, can Colbert win by knockout? I really don't see it. I mean, if he completely dominates Gutierrez and wears him down, maybe he can stop him late. But I don't know, man. I think it's going to be tough for him to beat Gutierrez by a knockout. Gutierrez, you know, is a tough guy, and, um, and Colbert's not a big puncher. Can he win by a decision? To be honest, I think that's the most logical thing. It, uh, definition of this fight or logical outcome is that he wins a unanimous, uh, wins a clean decision in this one. Um, so I could see him winning a tough one. I can see him winning a blowout decision, to be honest. Um, what does this fight mean for Chris Colbert? Well, it's huge. It's his first crack at a world title. And if he wins, he, you know, he puts his, his best foot forward towards bigger fights and taking over a wide open division and Colbert's young so he can stay in this division really take it over and then in a couple years move on to 135 and he's still be he'll still be a very young fighter so you know he's only 25 years old so this is a big first step in in the career of Chris Colbert major step um what does it mean for him if he loses it's gonna really really uh hurt his career because He's going to have to start over, and then we're going to look at him as, is this guy a serious a serious threat? Is he a legitimate top guy? And that's really going to hurt him. So a loss right here would really, really hurt his career. Um, who is it better for? Is it better for Gutierrez, or is it better for Colbert to win this fight? And at that, to me, that's kind of a toss-up. Yes, Colbert is an undefeated fighter, but he also is a soft-punching undefeated fighter that is more of a pure boxer, and that's not as entertaining, you know, but he is undefeated, and he is young, but then you had Gutierrez, who has that fun, uh, you know, rough him up, mix it up type style, got more power, more entertaining fighters, so it's kind of a coin flip, I think either way it's good, but I almost want to say it's better for boxing if a guy like Gutierrez wins, because here's a kicker, he's not just a, he's not a veteran that's, you know, that, that's gotten his ass with multiple times and got lucky. This guy is an un, is, is a 26-year-old guy with some power and, and that can box. And he's a big guy at 132. So, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of a toss-up for is it better for boxing if Gutierrez or, or uh, Colbert wins. And now, who do I believe is going to win this fight? I'm picking Chris Colbert to win a decision in this one. Gutierrez is good, he's solid, and I absolutely think he's a live underdog that can pull off this victory right here. And he's the champion, mind you. But I think Colbert, from what I've seen, uses the angles well, boxes well, doesn't get hit by a lot of shots. And I think he's gonna use that and use the ring. And I think he's gonna outwork and outbox Roger Gutierrez to a clean, unanimous decision in this one. So. Um, it could, like I said, I could see Gutierrez pulling off the upset or pulling off the victory and keeping the belt and, uh, and stopping Colbert, but I just don't think he's going to be able to land uh, a lot of clean shots on Colbert. But again, if he can wear that body down, it could be, uh, it could be an interesting night for Chris Colbert. So don't, don't sleep on this fight. It should be good. It takes place Saturday, February 26th. The undercard's actually pretty good too. 
that it's on Showtime. Make sure you're paying attention. Roger Gutierrez versus Chris Colbert for the WBA Super Featherweight title at 130 pounds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing.